All right. And basically, the, there's a new thing right now because of the fact that GMS is known for being so deep and going deep into the scriptures. It's a new thing. Now you're too deep. You know, now you're going into too many things. Yeah, yeah. Right. And then Mashaba, that you, nigga, you look like Methuselah, brother. All right? <laughs> you look old as hell, brother. You age, bro, yeah. man. But anyway, um, <laughs> anyway, um, he, he basically, what did he say? He said that basically uh, 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 love edif uh, knowledge puffs up and love edi but love edifies. So, he, so he's trying to imply that... Uh, that if you got too much knowledge, that you puffed up. And then Kawa Cobb called from down uh, South America, all right? And basically what they're saying in that video is that, look, we don't even know the name of the Most High and His Son's name. So the Most High took that away from you, man. Yeah, yeah. That's another new trend. The new trend now is it's all about love. And you, ain't, you don't have to know all the scriptures, all right? And, oh, we don't even know what the name of the Most High is. So we're going to stick with the name of the Most High and his son's name. We know his name, Duariah, at the elders of the old school. Okay? That's right. And now we got to go back and get right, right into the topic. But, but since the back of what the elder Todd just brought out, there's the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 11. It's verse 12. Now we have received not the spirit of the world, but the spirit which is of the Most High, that we might know the things that are freely given to us of the Most High. Yeah, one of them is his name. One of the things freely given is the main thing, his name. Well, let's go back to our forefather Moses. What's the first thing that the Lord asked Moses? I'm sorry, Moses asked the Lord, what is your name? And did the Lord get mad and say, well, well how dare you ask for my name? No, the Lord freely gave it to him. All right? Which things also we speak, not in the words which man's wisdom teacheth, but which the Holy Spirit teacheth. That's right. This, but the Holy Spirit gave Ariah the name. Ariah and Masha the name, man. It was the Spirit of the Lord. Because you guys will say, yeah, well, Mo and Ariah, Mo is the Masha, King Masha. Is oh, no, well, y'all don't call him King Masha. Masha is dead. And Ariah is, uh, uh, not, went off. Mm -hmm. Right? Sold out to uh, Ariad, sold out to Comfy, but that don't mean nothing. Ariad taught us the truth through the Spirit of the Lord that was on him at that time. Some scriptures that you're getting, that you're reading, that Nate is reading, and the way he's breaking down the scriptures, all those breakdowns, the ones that you don't go off on, you got it from the main school. You didn't figure that shit out, and all you guys all agree about the 12 tribes. Well, guess what? Don't teach about the 12 tribes no more. That's right. Okay? that came from Ariah. Because that came from Ariah. You teaching that the uh, Ephraim is a Puerto Rican, represent the Puerto Ricans, Judah represent the Negroes, uh, um, uh, Issachar, Benjamin represent the West Indians. Where'd you get the, did the despair come to you and tell you that? No, nigga. It was Ariah that taught you, all right? That's why we believe that Ariah gonna come out of that crap, man. Okay, now we're going off, but we're going to go back into the into the topic, yeah. Yeah. okay? Right. Yeah. Those guys are the guys, that, uh, those are the foolish virgins that lost the oil. That's right. Yeah. That's what you guys are. Right. Yeah. That's right. You lost that oil, man. Or you never had the oil. Because when it was time to trim the lamps, which is now, in this time, 2,000 years later, you went to flick and trim your lamp, and, and the fire didn't come on. But the fire is on us. That's right, man. Okay? That's right. So you trying to get that, that, that oil, you ain't got it. Because we, hey, we got the oil, and we can't stop and give you my oil, man. No, that's right. Okay? That's why a lot of you guys, we got a saying in GMS, this guy ran out of gas. Yeah. That guy ran out of, like Yasha won. Yeah. He ran out of gas. Yeah. <laughs> Lahab, you ran out of gas. Uh, Yeshia, you ran out of gas. Yeah. All right? Gazak, you ran out of gas. Yeah. Shekiah. Yum Yun, <laughs> Ramayla, all you guys ran, and you watch us, man. You watch us. Yeah. You ran out of gas, man, because you never had Robert Jones, Ezekiel. You ran out of gas because you never had gas back then. You, all you guys, all you guys were doing. You, you should all be invited to the Academy Award, Awards in February, and all each each of y'all get a. Uh, what do you call that? Uh, a, 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 a achievement? What do you call that? A lifetime achievement award for that bullshit thing that you, that act that you put up for so many years. That was just an act. That's right. 
Uh, going back to the article, it says, um, Then everywhere the citizens obliged to defend themselves against the world minority of revolutionaries will exterminate those destroyers of civilization and the multitude disillusioned with Christianity and you part of that multitude, you uh, guys that fell off. <laughs> the, you ran out of gas. 14th Street, 14th Street Israel, like you never had it, man. Oh, he's just running on ether. <laughs> <laughs> the the multitude, <laughs> he was running on vapors. The multitude and the multitude disillusioned with Christianity, whose deistic spirits will from that moment be without compass or direction. Which, yeah, like the the brother, um, Elder Menadzak say, you're going to take that chip because you won't have no compass or direction. Anxious for an ideal but no, but without knowing where to render its adoration will receive the true light through the universal manifestation of the pure doctrine of Lucifer. And that chip is part of the pure doctrine of Lucifer, right? Hey, I like that, man. I'm going to have to use that, man. I hey, like... I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you some of their uh, alumni, uh, 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 <laughs> Johanna. All right, uh, 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 Nate, uh, Lahab. He's gone. He's dead. He's already. He's actually dead. He's in the ground. He's dead. He's dead spiritually and physically. He's gone, man. All right. He's in the old folks' home, man. He's getting. He's getting fed. Uh, he, 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 he getting. He getting fed cold oatmeal. All right. <laughs> Hey, but what you just said, I lost my train of thought. Uh, our pure Luciferian doctrine, the pure doctrine of Lucifer, all you guys are sold out, all right? Uh, bubble Eye Blackfish, uh, Degenerate Johanna, Nate, all you guys are sold out, man, and, that, and you keep pushing that nonsense and you defying the true men of the Lord. All right, you have received the pure. What is it called? The pure doctrine. The pure doctrine of Lucifer. All right, and that's the new thing, the new vibration that we're gonna put out. All you guys have received the pure or the unpure doctrine of Lucifer. Yeah, yeah. yeah I might do a mailbag on that. <laughs> the pure doctrine of Lucifer. The unpure doctrine of Lucifer. Yeah, yeah, come. The unpure doctrine of Lucifer. Uh, will receive the true light, unpure light, through the universal manifestation of the pure, of the unpure doctrine of Lucifer, brought finally out in the public view. The manifestation will result from the general reactionary movement, which will follow the destruction of Christianity and atheism, both conquered and exterminated at the same time. And that also equals martial law, because during, that, during the program of martial law, that's what they want to destroy, uh, so-called Christianity and so-called atheism. In other words, your, your alliance and your belief is to the state. Can I say this? And if y'all got scriptures, you can bring them out. Another thing, you got a lot of these guys, you got some guys that are following us, you got some guys that have, uh, are following Degenerate Johanna, you got some guys that are following Nate, you got uh, some guys that are following Bubble Eye Blackfish, and um, when all these prophecies come to pass, all right, and it could be the end of this year into the, uh, to, uh, 2014, you guys are going to have a lot of questions for your so-called teachers and your leaders, all right, and then you're going to compare us with them, especially when the mark of the beast comes, all right? Then you're going to put all, everything together, and then you're going to ask your leaders, and they ain't going to have no answers for you, man. And then you're going to try to come with us, and we're going to give you the hand. Okay, we, we're going to basically say we ain't got no oil for you, man. That's the fulfillment of, uh, of Matthew's 25th chapter, man. Go ahead, Ock. This is uh, Proverbs 21.20. There is treasure to be desired and oil in the dwelling of the wise, but a foolish man spendeth it up. And that's plain. That's plain, man. But anyway, we finished that, right? Yeah, that's right. Now let's go to uh, this, this right here. Okay, these are basically headlines. You can read into it if you want. But basically, these are little uh, snippets of uh, news articles. Well, you have actually have the articles of these different nations that are part of the uh, G20. That's, that clearly are not down with this attack on Syria.